So Ubiquiti sent my brother an Amplify Alien setup. So that's a router and a mesh point. And now he's got gigabit internet and I figured he's not really getting the best out of it. And this Amplify Alien has Wi-Fi 6, which the new iPhones and other new laptops can actually use to get much, much higher Wi-Fi speeds. So I thought, oh, maybe he can use it. So I got Ubiquiti to send him that. Slight problem, um, he is not technical at all. Um, he's more reliant on teenagers for that stuff than I am. And he is 14 and a half thousand kilometers away in Denmark. So um, I decided to do a bit of uh, remote IT support. Yeah, anyway, let's call him. Okay, yeah, up top. Okay, show me the box. Show me the box. Here we are. Just received from the uh, amplifier. Looks a little bit portable speakers, but uh, here we go. We gotta have an unboxing. Yay, look at that. There's a box in the box. Let's see if we can... And ah. we have two. Pull them out. Let's see what we got. We have one here. Yep. We have another one here. Yep. We do have for a wire. Well then. Yeah. Yay. Land cable. And then we have the uh, power line. Lovely. So I'm looking at the quick start yeah. guide. Um, I will put that in the description as well. But that's a, uh, I think the first step it says is to actually install the app. Wrap off the plastic of this one so we can yeah, see whatever it. it is. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll take the plastic off. Give people what they want, eh? Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's, that's the router. We just put the router over here. Take yeah. the other one. So the mesh point is what it, it meshes the, the network essentially. So it's another access point for the other end of the house so that you have more goodness of Wi-Fi. You go to the app store and install the Amplify app. And then I have to go to what you said, Amplify? Amplify. Install now? Yes. Then it has a lot of pictures and says continue. Should I do? I guess we Just continue. continue? <laughs> Yep. yep. Oh, look at that. that. Animations. Woo. All right. So that we have been very kind of doing this video in English. We could do it in Danish, but we're not. Um, yeah, that's the first option. But I suspect we're going to have to plug it in first. But yeah, press, press the first option. We'll see what happens. Um, so now we have to walk into where the, the internet router is. So it says unplug the internet. So I actually turn it off. There's some, I don't know where the, the, the kill switch is, but I just pulled the plug somewhere. on it. Now it's dead. Hey, all right. So now you plug, you use that black LAN cable to plug the mesh, not the mesh point, the router, the Amplify Alien router into shouldn't this put, thing. Shouldn't I put power on it first? Nope. Yeah, we have it right here. Yep. Oh, that's okay. not easy to see on a, on a line, but we could plug it in here in the bottom. So yeah. it's plugged in. Go. And then it needs power in the other side. Power lines in here. So, and we have a lot of... Uh, yeah, don't worry about those. Oh, okay. They're just for your uh, other oh. things, printers and whatnot. Oh, so you plug that, the LAN cable into the white box. Yeah, by the, I have no idea which one it is. Cable management. Yeah, it could be this one. I hope it's this one. It's out. Yep. And Let's the other one's in. Yeah, so plug that in. Plug the power into the alien router. No connection. So you, you want to have power in it now? Yep. Yay! Look at that! Whee! We have aliens! I mean, we have light. Nice. That's it. And then I think we just gotta wait for the alien router to start up. It says it like a, it's a 40% now or something. Cue the music. Yeah, it's a... I love the look of this device. I wish I had it here, to be honest. But... Very good. So this is, this is Wi-Fi 6. So you should have even faster internet on mm -hmm. your phone now. So now on your app, you should press the button again, says set up. And that app. Next. 
Yeah, I guess. Yes, I have done that. Yep. Put on the cable. Yep. Oh, so you just get the cable? Ah, so you get the instructions that. now. <laughs> yep, you got to be able to configure it now. Wait. Just said wait. Well, then I guess we wait. Please wait. <laughs> yeah, it's, it will have a name. Oh, we got to come up with a good name. You can't just have any Wi-Fi name. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You don't give me anything silly. Yes, I kill you. yes. Still on distance, I kill you. Drop it like drop it like it's hotspot. Uh, Wi Fi the inevitable. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, it's getting it, short. It burns when I pee. <laughs> oh god, this is nerd humor. Idiot. Silence. You're totally an idiot. <laughs> silence of the land. <laughs> uh, Wi Fi. No what more Mr. Wi Fi. <laughs> Call it whatever you want. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> And then I have to make a password. Yeah. One, two, three. It says wait again. <laughs> and we wait. The, the router says setting up. Hey, excellent. Fian Elgar. Yep. So that's remote control. So you can access your your network from where we are. Yep. Do that. But you're, you're an idiot. So that's okay. part of, yeah. we take enable remote. We, we take enable remote management. Mm -hmm. Then you can kick Bertram off remotely as well. Denied. What? That plays music. The hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Is that alien music? music? Yeah, I don't know. You're setting up a, a, a ubiquity account now, I think, is what's happening. So that you can now... Yeah, we, we, we go on with Facebook. Yeah, yeah that's fine. They know so anything, they... anything about me anyway, so <laughs> it don't matter. So, um, so I think this means that whenever you're... Uh, uh, anywhere on any computer you can log in and see your network basically configuration done okay offsetting full field um cool. and now i think we want to put up set up the mesh point now now is we actually on online and we have wi-fi on yep. it yes so now you should so now your phone is on that wi-fi on the amplifier wi-fi it says like you have an offline unit Ah, so it already ah because it came as a pair, so I'd probably already know about it. Oh, see, there's an update to it. Always make sure you do the update as well, by the way, because you can update to 3.5.1 now. Uh, but let's yeah. so you, you like you like to have update now or when we're done? No, no then when we're done. Um, try and go and plug in the mesh point, and just see if it just comes up on the app then as active. Usually, Amplify Just stuff is super easy to set up. In the, in the opposite corner, actually. Yep, exactly. So we have it here, the mesh Yay. Part. It's another speaker, I mean, thing. And we just should... plug in the power in that one. That should be it. And hope for the best. Yep. So if you had enough wire, cabling, whatever, you could hardwire it as well. Um, so that's another option. But we're not doing that in this case. Now there is... Oh, there's light on it. Oh, green light. Oh, green light, yeah. But it, it has a lot of green dots that's running around in it. That must be good. So one of the things you also have with is you have a guest network. So you can actually have guests access using your Wi-Fi without being on your network, which is kind of neat. Maybe it's out of battery. Update everything? Should I press that one? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Sure. Yeah, that's that starts blinking funny now. Yeah. Is that a power again or? Yeah, probably. You never know. Should it come up by itself? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Clint right. Wi Fi connected. Cool. And then go back in the app. Okay. Just have to find the app again. Just a sec. <laughs> yeah. Now it says connecting. Amplify is updated. Yep. Lovely. And we got this one. I just have to press got it. Got it. Cool. Hey, there's two. It says everything is super two minutes. Yeah, so it's been up for two minutes. Um, so what do you got? Yeah. You got a mesh and then I can and press, I can press one of the one of them to get access. We don't press physically on the mesh point, we press it in the app. Yes. Yes. Ah, signal. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. So it's got 
63 decibel signal. That's pretty good. Um, it's not amazing, but that's pretty good. That means that you have access between the two points. So from the router to the mesh point, the connection is 63 mm -hmm. decibel. What would probably help okay. is if you elevated the router, so put it up on the table, something instead of on the floor, that may give you a better signal, but it's pretty good. It's not bad. Then it says, uh, Ethernet backbone. Mesh point, back I'm not sure what that means. Put it on. I'm sure some people would tell us in the backbone comments what one. it means. Oh, don't you know, it's blah, blah, but. Yeah. And then I have a mesh point additional SSID. That's for setting up a separate Wi-Fi network or SSID. SSID is just the name of your Wi-Fi network. So instead of having the whole thing as okay. Clint Wi-Fi, you could have, you know, Clint mm -hmm. and something else, but yeah, you, you don't need that. You have like this green line here yeah. in the app, sorry. Yeah. Right, the D will be <laughs> if you don't yeah. want this alien green all the time. But it's a good nightlight, you know, you'd find your way. Yeah, it's, it's very green. Yeah, you know, I, I think that's it. I mean, the only thing that is really cool is you can have the you can have the guest network. So it would be Clint dash yeah. guest, I believe, um, as a Wi-Fi network, and people can just connect to it. You have a gigabit. Ooh. I, found, I have a gigabit, so it should be fast enough. Now we're showing you the speed test. Now, obviously, to do a speed test, we need to have a Wi-Fi six device. This is done on a MacBook Pro, hence the kind of shaky uh, footage by my nephew. But it does show you that we get way over 500 megabit speed. Uh, he also has an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm sure that's a good iPhone. And, uh, and that also has Wi-Fi 6. And I have seen speed tests with that of over six and 700 megabits. So it depends a little bit on your setup, how much interference there is. Uh, how many other access points, how much traffic there is on the network and all those sort of things. But these are impressive speeds, over 500 megabit on a Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, there we go. That was that was kind of easy, I think. That seemed really simple. I would say if I'm a total novice in this one and I've never done this before with those kind of speaker things from Amplify, <laughs> but I would reckon that I have could done it in five to ten minutes just to follow the app yeah i think so yeah i didn't realize actually the instructions yeah, on the app, but yeah super yeah, simple yeah so if i followed the app by myself it would have been five to ten minutes yeah and you have a teenager so it would have been probably five that would maybe be two minutes yeah exactly oh very yeah. good um yeah. thanks for being guinea yeah. pig thank you uh, thanks for getting me a better wi-fi so yes we have gigabit yeah, so wi-fi thanks for amplify Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah do you, thank you, you big no, um, okay. We hope so. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. So there we go. Um, my brother's now got really fast internet in and he can actually get it out again to his devices as well. So um I don't know, I really like the look of this Amplify Alien. I wish I had one right here, because I want to play with it, but it's not, it's there, fourteen and a half thousand kilometers away. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel for more tech stuff. I have some really cool ideas coming up and, uh, and, and like the video if you liked it. Um, you know, otherwise I can't leave the room if you don't like the video. So I'll wait. Oh, thank you. Bye.